Hello and welcome to IFTV. I'm Kim Ingalls and it is day three's roundup of the NWG Innovation Festival at Newcastle Racecourse. The sun has been out, but have there been any light bulb moments? And what have been the highlights so far? Those are the questions I've been asking. But we're going to start with a look at the speakers who were in the house last night. We start with Elvorn Spencer, real name, Neil Malarkey. Well, I find most people aren't succeeding at all. They're living drab and empty lives. And so tonight, the people I'll be working with, hopefully one or two, maybe, well, actually one or two percent, maybe one or two hundred percent will become a little bit more succeedy and start innovating in every part of their lives. What a character. Now, we have one of our sprint leads here, Martin Jackson, welcome to the programme. How is your sprint going? What have been the highlights so far? Oh, it's been a fantastic two days so far. We've covered so much ground and I think when you start off the sprint process it's always a little bit of a leap of faith. You never quite know where it's going to go but really we, we've taken the problem, we've dissected it and we're reaching a position now where we're starting to get some real outcomes that we feel that we can work upon for the next couple of days. Time to head back out into the sunshine. from people in the flooding sprint already this week, but the sprint leader, Chris Jones, is with me now. Chris, let's get into the nitty gritty. What ideas have you got? How far have you got? Well, we started by breaking down the sprint into sort of three areas, looking at predicting. So how, could we tell where flooding was going to occur and who was going to be affected and how badly? And then looking at mitigation, so things we could do either in the short term or the long term to, to, to make it better to prevent that. Uh, impact and the same in, in, in terms of response um, you know uh, what different agencies can play in to make that response much more effective so we're not working against each other sometimes. It's not just the grown-ups who've been having fun today though take a look at this. I found two potential future scientists Jonathan and Dylan. Jonathan what have you been working on today? Uh, we've been making some cars to try and use like elastic bands to make them turn and that. And what's the bigger picture why are you doing this? Um, to help our technology skills and creative skills and that. So there's a taste of what's coming up tonight at seven o'clock. I hope you'll join us. See you then. <laughs>